families welcome once again to my channel if this is your first time tuning in please do not forget to subscribe i'm gonna put the subscribe button below just so you don't forget and i'll also try to put it at the end of the video too so you don't forget you know sometimes we do forget it's not it's not you guys fault i can't be blaming you so if you're here because you want to find some really cool affordable mother's day gift ideas then this video is certainly for you of course you can tell by the title of, of this description rather so um if you are anything like me guys that do not really care for another flower or bouquet of roses i don't know some people actually really like it but i do not and i'm gonna tell you guys a very really quick um story actually when i was dating my husband he'll always get me flowers and i never at any point told him i do not like flowers you know what i mean like he'll get them to me i'm like like most girls oh my god they're so pretty oh my gosh and then like couple of days later they're just right there in the corner somewhere in my room drying away and i i don't know it just kept happening and i'm thinking if this guy literally come into my room one day and just like sees all his money literally dried up so anyways i just gotta make that a reference because if you are one of those moms that are too modest to tell your kids what you like your husband would ask you what do you want from others they oh you can give me anything if you really don't care then yeah you don't care but a lot of us be sharing I guess categorizing into four types of mom four. so here we go so we have the sentimental mom so sentimental moms are moms that literally you you spend the cheapest with sentimental those ones you get all the D, DIYs um, stuff there is this website called the personalization um, mall Dot com and I actually found that website when I was trying to get like um, my husband was doing an album lunch So I was trying to get something a little bit more personalized for him So that one you can actually customize you can have the person's name written on different things like a pendant You can have them their names written on a pillow, you know mug and no matter how Even if you're not a sentimental person like if you have something that has your name on it You kind of you cherish that right so really check out that website I'm gonna put the link of the website below I'm not affiliated or anything but I've just used their product and I really enjoyed um, the shipping was really quick and I I feel like Mother's Day is coming up next month um, next week rather so I think it would be cool if you want to place an order right away let's do that right away it will ship within two to three days I think it was within three days I got mine so I don't know how it has changed now because I got I did that like last year but if you guys can check that out that will be uh, i guess the mom whoever you're trying to get will really appreciate that so that's one thing now, the second thing a sentimental mom would like like i said it's not too much to please a sentimental mom like literally even if it's if you have a if you're a dad watching this and you have little kids like you can have your kids get some um watercolors you know some colors and just have them i remember my my son's school they did this thing with his finger <laughs> and they sent it to me my gosh i've kept this literally since last year you know so that's i mean i'm not really i don't consider myself a sentimental mom so just something like this have your kids put their like their finger palm print or whatever and just write something really cool like one or three phrases that they can um or three words that they can describe their mom with or something like really sentimental like that that their mom will actually keep you know and those kinds of things mean a lot to sentimental moms so the second type of mom is the active mom so this mom is one that does not sit in one place they are always running somewhere jogging some um if you know an active mom or you want to gift an active an active mom you know this website i've actually seen that really um of late it's called the fabletics um dot com i think kate kate hudson is like the creator of that um active wear line so um or, or even if you don't have enough time to just go in i don't even know where i got this but this is really cool um like active wear um, jogging pants that i got my woman well, i think my sister got this for me but i think she got this from ross and it's really pretty as you can see the quality is amazing so you can just get them like a couple of like jogging pants um, jogging tops um, you can get them those um, fit bands or just something like that that I know like they would actually use and not toss somewhere right um, the third type of mom I'll call them the youngie mom <laughs> so youngie moms are moms of toddlers or newborns or first-time moms you know those moms are like you can just tell by their faces that like, they're just overwhelmed and if someone had gotten me this gift last year I would have been like oh yes but for youngie mom you know for sure they just need to relax and i don't know you people that always try to gift moms um food like gift card for food look 
you know they are still gonna carry those kids to the store and i i don't know i feel like before i had my my son i didn't know how much work it took i mean of course each kid is different but my child it, it takes a mental preparation for me to take him to a store like for me to take him to a, a restaurant rather because i don't think we even enjoy our food we're busy sit down eat don't he tries to just get into everyone's food just like very active right now so getting me a gift food gift card would not really do much however if you really want to you know cater to or gift a young mom a young youngy mom something like maybe if you're the dad you can babysit that night and just have her go just go pamper yourself do something without the kids because you know young moms you just feel like especially if they're breastfeeding they're always like their child their child is like their second hand bag it's they're always with children so if you want to really just have them relax do something refreshing you know take them to a spa or something like that and just drop them off let them have like their two hours relax and all that good stuff so the fourth type of mom is what i call the flicky mom so flicky moms are moms that are just in fashion they're trendy they're they just love fun things right so with flicky moms i would say just go into a sephora store or a mac store and they'll tell you what to get a flicky mom because a flicky mom can never get enough makeup they can never get enough fun things right I mean for me for honestly as a matter of fact I do not want anyone gifting me any kind of perfumes I mean most moms have enough perfumes if you mix your perfumes and, and add together your perfumes body splash body spray everything you have too much right so but one thing I know about flaky moms they can never get enough makeup <laughs> So even if it's highlight, highlights are, are very like the in thing right now. Most people love to blind people with their highlights. So if you um, if you have a flicky mom in your life, get them like you can even make a, a care package, like a gift basket. Go to Hobby Lobby, get throw in some a couple of nail polishes, like, like maybe a couple, two or three nail polishes. Get them like facial scrub. Get them like a little binder, like fun, cute, um, maybe binder or devotion or something of that sort. Uh, food scrub, something. Just get it, and it's very affordable. Like something like that will probably cost you less than fifty bucks. Wrap it up really nicely and present it. So a flicky mom, they would really appreciate that. You know, it's only so much edible arrangements that you can get your mother every single year. Only so much perfume. Only so much flowers. So try, try to think of outside the box give them something functional that they would actually appreciate and another thing i remembered was um when my husband i don't i didn't think i was like a real like necklacey person but he got me this really cute necklace and i still have it and a lot of my necklace i buy myself i don't even know where they are it's either they break somewhere or whatever but this is going on three years now and i still have it like it has this really cute um you know silver pendant and something like that that's just really customized if you are a mom please just help help your husband out help your children out let them know exactly what you want and something that you would actually appreciate so until next time um i wanted to do a comment of the day okay to be honest with you but i have to look through my comments from my last video anything i really look forward to in the summertime is this mango smoothie from mcdonald's honestly i don't even mind waiting minutes in the drive through just to get this crazy thing in this spot i just it's just so refreshing it's like a summer drink and i know it's not summer quite yet it's actually been very gloomy in chicago have a great rest of the day enjoy yourself bye